Okay, I'm not the greatest at videos, but this is really quick on using the updated firmware and zeroing the BL touch probe. First thing I want to do is when you mount your probe, you want to make sure that when it goes down and actuates, you have that little bit of gap between the probe and your nozzle. As you can see, I did not do that the first time, and I have a nice little drag mark on there. So after it's Z'd, it says I'm at 5 millimeters. So I'm going to come up in here. I'm going to move my axis. I'm going to take the Z. And as they recommend, I'm going to wheel it down. And I'm just going to get to zero because I know it's a little high. And if you see, this paper has way more than enough room in there. So with that there, you come back up to control, motion, offset, and as they start coming down, I'll drag the paper, kind of hard to do with one hand. Still a lot of room. A little bit of drag there. Can still move it around. That's nice right there. I'm at Z, it's minus 0.3. So now what you have to do, come back out and make sure you store your settings. Now if I go to prepare, Again, the touch probe, make sure that the nozzle doesn't hit the bed. You can see the little light gap between there. It'll see itself out at 5. If I stick my paper in here. Go back to move my axis. And I can easily just come right down to zero. And there's my piece of paper. And you can tell there's a, vi well, you can barely see it, but there's a very minute gap in there, which allows it to print well.